Evet Orun Yakop sene geldik. Burada yemek yiyeceğiz ve karşıda öyle bir mekan gördük ki. <gülüyor> bir daha söyle bakayım. Fugu giy. Fugu giy. Ne? Sundur bir zincir. Bir daha sundur. Ne yazacağım bilemiyorum. Şu an sen söylüyorum. Sundur bir. Hi good morning. Efendim? Çok profesyonel gözüküyorsunuz. Teşekkür ederim. Nedir selam? Selam. Evet. Müthiş bir yer. Biraz duygusalız. <gülüyor> Çünkü iki sene önce daha dükkan kurulurken iyi Avrupa'daki bekçilerin falan fotoğraflarına baktığımızda hep burası çıkardı. Evet. Hanım Bey merhaba. Merhaba. Bu ben, evle ilgili konuşmak ister misiniz arkanızdaki? Ya ev değil de ben şu an alakalı konuşmak istiyorum. Yeni evet. bir inşaata denk geldik. Evet. Ee, i̇nşaat yapısı biraz farklı geldi. Aha. Normal bizdeki gibi inşaat çeliğinden, betondan ziyade daha çok böyle çelik konstrüksiyon üstüne yapıyor kuruyorlar. Güzel ama bak ben mimarisi çok beğendim. Bu tipik bir e, İskandinav mimarisi diye düşünüyorum. Şu an modern mimari. Tipik. Tipik tipik. tipik. Yani mesela bir şuna bak dostum. Görüyor musun? Gördüm dostum. <gülüyor> bir de şuna bak. Bu modern olan. Bu modernize edilmiş hali değil mi? Burada da var, kampüs kuruluyor. Burada da hani villalar falan var. Güzel, gayet güzel. Şey, dekanı tanıyormuşsunuz galiba. Var, evet. Bir ilişiniz duyuldu şimdi yani. Ya şöyle, Kocaeli'de okurken... <gülüyor> <gülüyor> benim dersime gidiyoruz. <gülüyor> dersime gidiyoruz. İsmi neydi? Richard, Richard adı. <gülüyor> Süper Richard. ya. Ya şöyle oldu aslında, çok davet etti beni. O burada iş işte ayarladı ama... Yani diyeyim Türkiye'den ayrılmak istemedim ben. O ara Hayır, Gebze'de, Gebze'de işe başlamıştım. Haklısınız. Gebze'yi bırakıp... E, Nereye Kopenhag, geleceksin? Kopenhag'a Kopenhag. gel, gelmezsin yani. Aynen öyle Tabii. oldu. Ama şey yaptı ya hani dedi ki dostum istiyorsan hani buralardan ev de ayarlayabiliriz sana. Aa uyguna. Tabi tabi. Uyguna. Aynen. Çok güzel, güzel çok beğendim. <gülüyor> Evet Orun, Yakop sene geldik. Arkadaşlar şimdi şöyle durum var. Burada yemek yiyeceğiz ve karşıda öyle bir mekan gördük ki. <gülüyor> yani biraz garip geldi bana. Türkiye'de böyle bir şey ya, çok görmeyiz. Gelin abi göstereyim. Haydi. Haydi bakalım. Ne? Evet. Abi Netflix'in dükkanı falan mı burası? Gördüm, şu an gördüm. Yani şöyle söyleyeyim, ben arkadaşlar böyle mekanda, karşıdaki mekanda yemek yemek istemem. Şimdi evet biraz onu düşündürdü beni. Karşısında böyle bir yer var. Yani Biz ne yiyeceğiz belli değil. Bence etik değil abi. Bu olmaması gereken bir durum ve ben bunu Cimer'e yazmak istiyorum. Cimer'e yazarsan hızlı bir çözüm alırız gibi geldi bana <gülüyor> Danimarka'da. Danimarka Cimer'e yazmak istiyorum. Sen tek de mi yiyeceksin? Al al tek de al. Hmm. <gülüyor> ya şey tadı geliyor böyle derinin o hmm, yağ tadı var ya. Danish cucumber, marinated in cold pressed red chili from Bonbon. 
uh, puffed up wheat seeds, uh, fresh tarragon, and a lovely tomato consomme split with olive oil. And I come with yours in two seconds. Okay. Yoktan o kökleri kökleri incelen şey yapma evi bakıyor. Valla şöyle güzel olduğunu düşünüyorum. Neydi ya? Ispanak mı bu? Ispanak. Yosun gibi ortadaki. Yok yok bak. Ispanak ispanak. Bakalım. Bu ne biliyor musun? Kotfish. Su şef, dömü şef. Dömü şef oldu bu. Ya sonunda işte... Ama normal ana yemek çıkarıyor. Sen hep şef miydin abi? Sen onu söyle. Ana, ana yemek çıkarıyor. Ana yemek. Bulgur, bulgur gibi var. Jeyuk var. Bu video lan bence konuşuyor. Jeyuk var. Kore yemekleri güzel oldu. Bir daha söyle bakayım. Pugugi. Pugugi. Ya selamcısı yanlış mı? Olur mu? Dobe cincigir. Ne? Dobe cincigir. Bir daha söyle. Dobe cincigir. Yani telafon yanlış olabilir. Cincigir. Sonunda bir kısmı kesin var. Cincigir mi? Ne edebilirsin? Cincigir. Ne yazacağım bilemiyorum şu an söylüyorum. Sundu bir J J G nişanlı. Ya sana çıkar yani. Hi good morning. Oh my god look at those. What are these? This is perfect. I use pecorino. Yes. Lovely. It's a garlic bread. It is. That okay. The garlic smell it was coming from this. I was feeling so guilty this morning. Everyone was coming. There was so much fun. <laughs> this is perfect. Yeah. You, you're doing a favor to everyone. So, <laughs> don't worry. But is it is it a uh, puff pastry? Is it uh, um, croissant though? Okay. Yeah. It's still a, a test. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, and it's actually um, the scrap from the croissant production. Uh -huh. So we are recycling. I think it's super cool. There. Sustainable. Yes. That yeah, makes sense. Like that Siwan, he's uh, the Hi. breakfast cook this morning. Okay. Yeah. It's a man from Turkey. They have a bakery there. Nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, that's uh, the tunnel. Uh -huh. um, so yeah, everything goes through here. In okay. The end and Whatever we bake here, we finish off over here. Uh -huh. and also, packing for delivery customers happens here. Um, yeah. You also have, for example, if I just go to your website, I can order and come pick up, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Makes and, sense. Um, yeah, exactly. Then we have a few customers who we deliver to, mm -hmm. like other cafes and stuff, and yeah, and then our own places. So. Makes sense. Quite a lot of packing in the morning. Right? Actually, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, our pastry oven. So we have space for 10 trays. So okay. That's nice. Ah, Miva. I love those machines. <laughs> Oh, that's quite a nice place. Uh, Anton. Anton, good morning. Nice to meet Alexia. you. Hi. Hello. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi. Yeah, they're just filming a little. Don't be a little disturbed. Yeah, guys. But by the way, just let us know if we, if you want us to move out, and you know, just scream at us, okay? Where it all happens. Actually, okay. It's also not as big as you would uh, expect. No. No, no. Look at this oven. It's, it's how many layers? Wow. But some of them are different. Uh, I mean, the top one is higher. Yeah. And the other ones are the same size. Yeah. Is it a gas oven? Uh, no, it's electric. Electric. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ten breads uh, you can load at the same time. That's quite nice. Yeah. And it doesn't, you know, take as much space. It's just perfect. Yeah. Yeah. It's it works perfect for this yeah. place. Yeah. I think I've seen some of these at Hard. I suppose, yeah. Yeah. I'm sure they have a few. <laughs> wow, oh my god. The new place they have, it's huge. Yeah. It's literally like the biggest place I have ever seen, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. yeah. How they're many not... ovens do they have? Well, two at the moment, okay. but now they're expecting another one with 12 levels. Oh 12. God. How I was high like, is that going to be? Like? I have no idea. I asked, I asked Marius, like, where are you going to put this? Like, this is too big. Mm. And he said, that, well, we're going to figure it out. But there's this big place. Now they're actually working on pastries only. But they're moving the bread to the pastries area because it's a huge area. Like, mm. imagine a place like whole 
place like this, so they can they have a lot, lots of room, yeah. lots of room to use. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Sounds crazy. I've only heard about it. Yeah. <laughs> and pistachio. <laughs> do, do you purchase the pistachios from uh, from Copenhagen? Um, well, actually, I don't know where they come from, but we have a, a seeds and nuts guy okay. who uh, does everything very as sustainable as possible. Okay. So um, I just trust him. I, I haven't <laughs> checked in a while where they come from. <laughs> Well, it's originally the well the the, um, the biggest producer of pistachio is actually Turkey. There's okay, this yeah. city called Gaziantep. Yeah. It's it's what uh, Antep. Uh, it's part of the name in Turkish of this pistachio, mm -hmm. Antep Fıstığı, okay, Antep yeah. nut actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the name of the city, but the majority of the uh, population were um, making their lives out of this uh, product. So. The, well, I could say that the best I've tasted the pistachio yeah. was Gaziantep, yeah. that's for sure. Yeah. I don't, uh, is there also a brand that's called Gaziantep that makes like cheese or milk products? Well, yeah. let me see. From Gaziantep? I've seen like, you know, yeah? feta like cheese. Uh, okay. It's called Gaziantep. Uh, might, be. might be. No, no, no, <laughs> might be. Yeah. Okay. But, um, Okay. Yeah, uh, what I wrote about also was um, that we just finished this uh, big Danish season of uh, oh. Festa Launsbala. Yeah, there was this, yeah. like, it's it's some sort of fe festival? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's, it's uh, basically, you know, carnival. Okay. Uh, like, back in the Christian tradition, you have uh, the whole fasting time. Uh -huh. And then uh, at the end of the fasting time, you have carnival. Celebration, and yeah. Celebration. That's basically Festa Launsbala. And, um, yeah, this is one... Uh, Pastry made for that. Oof. So yeah, puff that looks delicious. Pistachio cream and just uh, uh, whipped cream with mascarpone. Yeah. Nice. We'll try one of these later. Yes, definitely, <laughs> definitely. Um, yeah. But it's oh, the, uh, upstairs. It's, it's, it's, it's just a storage. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> chaos. <laughs> <laughs> I like the chaos. Yeah, and we have a fairly big uh, dishwashing area. Perfect. It's uh, very nice, it's a big luxury. Yeah, because here you do everything, like you serve plates, you exactly. produce exactly. everything in here, so it must be like this. And for example, for us, we weren't planning uh, of a production like today, mm. so we thought that, okay, hey, this this um, dishwashing area would be just fine, mm. but no, <laughs> no. It, it cannot be big enough. No, no, <laughs> exactly, it's never enough. <laughs> And I love this color. Well, for example, in Turkey, if I put this on the shelf, oh my goodness, always, it's burnt. They say it's burnt. We, we say that, oh, it's not burnt, give it a shot. The taste won't be burnt, it's caramelized. The taste is great, please. Yeah, exactly, and the taste is in the crust, right? Exactly. The majority of the taste. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Yeah? So oh, sorry. Do you have a loader actually? No, well, we have a loader, but it's manual. So okay. we put it in and take yeah. it out. Yeah. But uh, in, in our new place, we're working <coughs> on finding the, the right one for us mm. because it's going to be um, 120 to 200 centimeters. Mm -hmm. So it's a little longer, mm -hmm. a little uh, deeper than this one. Yeah. Uh, we're going to start with three levels. Yeah. It's like you can add it up yeah. as much as you can. Yeah. So we said that, okay, let's start with three. But filling area, for example, if it takes 10, ours will be taking 16 per level. Yeah. So it's okay for beginning. Mm -hmm. And we will have such ovens for croissant, sorry. Um, and for, for that deck oven, we're gonna have one of this, but it's going to be semi-manual. Uh, mm -hmm. Not yeah. all the way uh, electronic, not yeah, yeah. This completely. This one is also semi. Yeah? Yeah, you have to pull it down. And okay. Okay. But yeah, definitely saves a lot of uh, back pain yeah, right. for the bakers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, All been there. It's <laughs> right. It's, it's, it's very painful. <laughs> I, I actually really like these uh, mixers. Yeah. Uh, at heart, they had two of them. Yeah. And they said that this is the best mixer. <laughs> well, every single baker in that mm -hmm. moment, the head baker, everyone. Okay, guys, this is the best. Yeah, this yeah, is the best. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I think I'm you sorry. don't have the knife as well, right? No. In the middle? No. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, especially for cleaning also. It's right? Much easier. <laughs> yeah. And the dough is really um, sensitive, yeah. so we also try not to you know, push it so hard. Yeah, yeah. 
So yeah, there there are companies trying to build something like this without knife, with good uh, engine, mm. but it's not close to these ones. Yeah. yeah. Ah, they're ready. <laughs> yeah. Sesame. Classic, classic Dane and Brian. Is it what? What's the difference? Main difference between the rack brood and this one? Um, between what? Uh, rack brood. I guess uh, I'm not. A ruble. A ruble. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, Danish pronunciation is always for <laughs> swallow half. Then yeah. we say it right. But um, well, this is the normal Danish. Uh, okay. Rack and the difference between the one. On ah, yeah, they are all the same. Just the uh, what topping. on top is uh, different. Yeah. Okay. Um, so it looks a bit more colorful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, those garlics. It's just crazy. Congrats, guys. Really. Yeah. Like, so many places, yeah. so many different operations, events, and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Operating it, it must be hard. I can That's only imagine. <laughs> and look at this. It's already like crowded, like full. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's even a bad weather here. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So it's, it's just it's crowded. People sitting outside. <laughs> wow. Uh, tahini <laughs> and our friend in, well, there's this urban city and people are gathering from the big cities to start farming but without chemicals. I'm not saying even organic because organic is like the new trend but nothing is organic in Turkey because it's not follow up but by the government. So now we are trusting the farmers that do not use chemicals. So this is the sesame that she produced and they turned it into um, tahini uh, in the village's um, mill. So it's, it's really like delicious. You can taste it with everything. Yeah, thank you guys. And this little fella, it's actually a Anatolian heritage wheat. So this flower, it's it's really different than einkorn, different than spelled. So you could you could just use it uh, to bake a bread like this rye, the same um, like uh, style, I would say, because the gluten and the sugar of the wheat is really low. Back in those days in Anatolia, they weren't using for uh, baking bread, but they were using for the, the wheat itself uh, to bake um, good dishes, as in, how would you say, as in like those firik, uh, maybe, it, it, firik is not a wheat actually, but they use it in salads now. They are trying to regenerate the heritage grain, so they, they started this um, actually production and say that, hey guys, we as a municipality try to regenerate the heritage grain so that we can pu publicly share it. So this is the flower. It's really distinctive. So sure. if you have it a time, just give it a sure. shot. Well, we actually sometimes use it in um, uh, sweet stuff as well. For cookie, it's, it gives a little different favor, flavor. It's really nice. And this little fella, uh, it's baklava, of course. I mean, yeah, for sure. It's a, there's this local brand in Izmir. They're good. We like them. And we said that, okay, baklava must be, must be it, like, for sure. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. Thank you, Thank you so much. Ah, uh, okay. This is completely full, like this, this, this board is bending every time. For real? Every time I'm scared that it will break. <laughs> but yeah, we do like 1.7 <clears throat> tons of flour a week. A week? Yeah. Whoa. And, uh, yeah. and that's when you think about how much moving that is. Exactly. Like we make all of this into bread and we move things from A to B several times a day. Uh, that's it's crazy. Still me every time. Right? <laughs> it, I was just going to ask, mm. what are those? Like, uh, and beer, these? Beer, wine. Ah, okay. Um, so it's for premixes, right? Yes, exactly. Okay. It's the back side of the bar, <laughs> Do you guys serve those now, or is it just uh, yeah, for try? It's, it's, uh, it's very new, um, but we are starting to serve them now. Yes. So, <laughs> can we get it of like, taste? okay. Oh, you, so you use those little uh, brochen wise breads for sandwiches? Um, I think she's making. I mean, like, yeah, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. That's uh, actually that's the most important. Like, besides all sweet stuff and so on, the most important dish in Danish bakeries is a bun with butter and cheese. Perfect. That's uh, the mo most selling product in every bakery. It's, it's and it's a dream. I, right. I love it. <laughs> okay. Good. So I think we know what to eat. <laughs> but owners and whatever have connections to some people. Uh -huh. and, yeah, it's definitely. Um, Curated, I would say. <laughs> okay. But um, it's not like some of these are just small neighborhood things. Like La Cava is a big, uh, very great coffee producer from uh, Aarhus. I see. Um, but they're also in Copenhagen, of course. Mm. And, yeah, very great people. <laughs> Um, and I love the concept of serving wine and beer. Yes, yes. 
This is a bakery, yes, yeah. but it serves <laughs> these goods as well, pizza as well. Oh, by the way, just because we're looking at the chef, right now, we, by the way, won the prize uh, last year. This is the best bakery. Okay. <laughs> cool. Um, I would say we've become better since then. Okay, wow. But, but this year we didn't win. <laughs> <laughs> So it's a, it's a yearly uh, competition? Uh, it's not a competition, it's um, just uh, a newspaper that okay. nominates a few bakeries and then um, I think a jury and also some uh, readers can choose. Ah. Okay, all right. Um, I love the plates. <laughs> yes. Um, These are wooden. Uh, no, it's a clay. No? Ah, clay? Yeah. yeah. Different heights and shapes, I love the idea. Yeah. Because before we had full trays in the end, yeah. and that becomes a bit messy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, it does. That's a much wash. <laughs> <laughs> and they don't break. Yeah? It's metal. <laughs> ah, okay. Omelette müthiş. Bu yumurtayı nasıl böyle yapmışlar ya? Smells so good. Oh, good. <laughs> wow. Hello. Uh, hi. hi. Hey there, guys. That's the best time we we came across with this dough time. That's that's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The nice thing is that you don't have the stress of, you know, yeah. the, the retaining things very at a certain time, yeah. whatever. It's a bit more relaxed, but it's still a, a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, and these are the leftovers, huh? Yes. They are, oh my god. Yes. Yeah. So, the name will be garlic bread? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we, we don't have a name for it yet. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, here again, everything is going in the white box. Uh -huh. And then, um, in the end, that's the machine that's making us, making it possible for us to produce the way we produce. Uh -huh. So in here, the things are frozen down yeah. to frozen, frozen in uh, 45 minutes, one hour. Sure. Uh, and then we move them from there to the other freezers, uh -huh. and then later on the bike comes, takes it up, down to the bike. Okay, I think then the, we bake them. the guy that visited today, right? Exactly. Yeah, okay. yeah. They do three tours a day. Um, yeah. It's <laughs> cool. As you said, this is a more calm kitchen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. But do you do different dishes here? Because I've seen some plates with rice. Ah, uh, yeah. So. so it's more like lunch. Yeah, the kitchen, um, they make lunches and then there's also uh, something that's called Felis Piecing. That's uh, like a common dinner that okay. we do every Tuesday. So families can get a meal for a good price. Nice. And you have lots of people out there who uh, come for that because it's cold here. It's, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah, I see. More affordable dishes. Yes, exactly. And then uh, we also do catering. Oh. All kinds of events and that's the kitchen. For the catering, you use this kitchen? Yes. Okay. And that's um, also a separate group of people, like it's these guys uh, with uh, some helpers, um, but they're independent of the bakery. So I see, I see. But um, of course, we also cooperate on a lot of things like... Uh, and how many people are here, like working, like you, you guys? Yeah, so it's two, two people two? every day. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, these are going to be the, the, the garlic bread, okay. <laughs> Merhaba, şu an Kopenhag'da biraz şehrin dışında 
e, tam böyle şehir merkeziyle e, yaşam alanlarının olduğu taraftayız. E, güzel bir yer. Burası içeride bir market bulduk. Efendim? Çok profesyonel gözüküyorsunuz. Teşekkür ederim. Doğru takalım şunu. Tamam. Buyurun. Şimdi içeride çeşitli kasaplar, peynirler ama şöyle bir şey var. Burada mesela kasap eti tesereyle kesiyor. Hakikaten öyle. Gerçekten İlginç bir tesere, bildiğin tesereyle kesiyor. Yok yok ya hani Türkiye'deki teknoloji bence buradan çok daha gelişmiş arkadaşlar. Allah Allah. Abi adam tesere kullanıyor ya. Normal tesere kullanıyor. Onun haricinde e, içeride yemek yiyeceğiniz güzel alanlar var. Bu bölgenin adı neydi Derya? Bu, bu şeyin adı neydi marketin? Paul Lerne. Çok Paul güzel bir telaffuz. E, eşiniz bura mı? <gülüyor> Danca telaffuz ediyoruz ben. Danca. Aklınızdan hangi yiyecekler geçiyor? Ya şöyle aslında, biraz kahvaltıyı erken yaptık. Dolayısıyla saat de şu anda 2.30 civarı. 3 oldu diyebiliriz. Dolayısıyla... <gülüyor> Betan Bey ne yapıyorsunuz ama şu an? Şey, bazen yorumlara yazıyorlar, Orun Bey'in fiziği çok güzel, nasıl oluyor bu iş böyle? Hep tamam bunu sonra, sonra konuşuruz ama şu an bir şey anlatıyorum ben. <gülüyor> Amacım top geldi. <gülüyor> Yemin, toplumla bu arada iç içirsiniz. Buna bayıldı toplum. Kopenhag'da öyle oldu. E, şemikler ne farkı var? Şemiklerde de biraz insan arıyor bunu. Şemikler pazar günü özellikle, ya yani pazar kurulduğu zamanlarda biraz e, ben insanların o modernliğini, o... <gülüyor> o Abi iki pazar buçuk kilo gün... oldu, olur mu? Ha? İki buçuk kilo oldu, olur mu? Orada pazar yani günü. orada işte ben genelde ne, ne geldiyse o kadar diyorum. Değil mi? Evet. Buradan alışveriş yaparız gibi. Evet. Mehmetacığım ne diyorsun? Bence. Mete tam senin mekanlar. Evet, gerçekten. Oy oy oy oy. Aha vallahi fiyatlar. Aa zeytinlerin güzelliğine bak. Güzel Oo. Bak şu var ya. Baharat kaplı. Aha. Müthiş bir şey. Aa bak mutfak ekipmanları falan satıyorlar. Ya çok genel geçer şeyler de var. Ama bu evet bak şu tavalar, çelik tavalar müthiş. Anladım abi ekmek üstü hazırlıyorlar. Evet evet ekmek üstü hazırlıyorlar. İyi abi bence. Bak şöyle üçlüsü var. Üç tanesi 125 mesela. Nerede? Şurada green combo var. Vejeteryan ve vegan. Ondan klasik combo var 160. Yine üçlü. Kahve var. Bildiğin iyi küçücük şeyin bak bak be. Tamamı bir makro bekliyor. Her şey burada. Aa. Fırın, hamur kazanı orada. Her şey burada. Burada yapıyorlar ha? Evet. Ben bayıldım. Ay bu kadar. Okay. Hey. From Israel, yeah. Dükkan kurulurken hep böyle Pinterest'te işte bakery design, 
e, işte böyle iyi Avrupa'daki bakerilerin falan fotoğraflarına baktığımızda hep burası çıkardı. Ve böyle şimdi burada olmak biraz insana böyle şey hissettiriyor. E, garip. Garip garip. Şimdi kurucularından Mia ile tanıştık. Buranın hikayesini, ekibin hikayesini, buranın nasıl kurulduğunu her şeyi anlattı. Nereden geldiklerini ve aslında ne yapmak istediklerini. Gerçekten çok keyifli, çok huzurlu bir ortam yaratmışlar. Şimdi çok güzel yazılar hazırlamışlar buraya. Bayıldım. Çok genç ve eğlenceli bir ekipleri var. Daha çok e, arge tarafları kuvvetli açıkçası. Ekmek adetleriyle böyle onlarca yüzlerce ekmek yapalım gibi bir kaygıları yok. Daha öğle yemeği tarzı hizmetler de veriyorlar çünkü. Böyle bir yaşam alanı oluşturmuşlar. Hey. Hi guys, back again. Welcome to the back. Wow, okay. So everything is happening here. Yes. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Is it smaller than your bakery? Yes, it is. Everything is smaller than... No, sorry. Our bakery is smaller than everything. So it's wow. really small. Okay. We, we have one table to work on and it's actually... Um, I would say half of it. Yeah. And the oven is right next to the bench because oh. we have no space. Wow. So that's why the heating problem is always going yeah. worse. Oh my God, it's crazy. Oh. oh, we actually, yeah, yeah, we tried it. It's cool. It's really nice. So, okay, let me just show you guys the rest. Well, this little guy, it's you know, um, I'll just. Well, this What is, is this is. No, oh, I'm sorry. You're right. You're right. This is uh, this is a uh, Anatolian heritage uh, wheat. Okay. It's it's called karakulçu, but I have literally no idea what's in it in English because I couldn't find any okay. uh, reflection. It's really old. They are trying to regenerate it. It's a white flower? No, it's not. Um, in fact, uh, it's a whole wheat flower, and I would say it's close to. Looks like einkorn. Yes, I mean it's close to einkorn, but the taste after the bake it's really different. But the way that we bake it, it's same with uh, rye, same with iron corn, the, how to shape it, everything yeah. is the same because the, uh, the sugar and the gluten of the wheat is really low. Okay. And that's why before, uh, back in those, in, in, in those villages, they were not baking bread with it, but they were making, you know, using it as in salads or making soups out of it. Okay. As in, it, because it's really tasty, yeah. but they were not able to bake a bread with it. But now it's now uh, one of those um, wheats that we're trying to, you know, protect because everything is touched by chemicals at this moment in Turkey especially. And now we have einkorn and karakulçuk remained and protected. Karakulçuk. Yes. Well, it, the same with the, the shape of um, bread is the same with the rye that you guys make, like 100%. Thin. Yeah, in a thin. Okay. Otherwise, it, it, because it, it doesn't, uh, you know, stay in the free form. Yeah. So, in a thin, it's the best. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, can, you, you can use it up to 90%, even 95%. It's easy, easily uh, baked. Wow. It, we just need, I don't know, add 10 more minutes maybe, a little low degree. Mm -hmm. Then it's perfect. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Exciting. <laughs> And this little guy is tahini. Whoa, But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alan is gonna, yeah? gonna cry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But a friend of ours actually, she she has a, um, well, she has a now olive trees and she started to farm. And this sesame, they're beyond organic. They're uh, actually produced without any chemicals, and they're milled in the village meal like old style old old style and this is a really good tahini i would say What? yeah yeah it's tasty well, we make hummus straight away uh, yeah <laughs> and this guy baklava oh. <laughs> yeah this is a local brand from izmir i, I mean they're good uh, but this is this is a little special of yeah. course this is a big brand yeah. but still they're really good so we don't get yeah them. Good, yeah, here, so. I've seen some places that uh, makes baklava, but yeah, yeah? 
Is, are you good? Ah, okay. Uh, a little different, yeah, a little different. But, uh, yeah, wow. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Alone is on it, you know. Alone is Well, okay. Wow. Amazing. Yeah, thank and you're, you. you're touring no, thank around you. Vegas yeah. now? Yeah. Uh, we started this last year. We started with London. There are like, I don't know, hundreds of bakeries, of course. Yes. It's not going to end any soon. We visited twice. Uh, E5 Bakehouse, the uh, the Dusty Knuckle, of course, they're they're super cool, cool guys. Yeah. And uh, last month we were in Spain. We started with Spain, Panic Madrid, and Obrago, Obrador, Obrador, um, San Francisco. They were the coolest guys ever. And in, in uh, yeah, in in Italy, Longoni. Um, there were some in Rome that we couldn't catch up with because. Mm -hmm. The, the, the schedule was too tight. We were just running around. So for Copenhagen, we said that, okay, one bakery in one day, okay? Yeah. Because otherwise we can't just keep up. And I know how, you know, the flow is here. Yeah. We don't want to, you know, interrupt or disturb the teams. So we just say that, hey, if it's a good time for you, if yeah. it's like really like okay with you, it's just, for us, it's just networking and sharing. That's it. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Is the bread very different to what we have, what you try today to what you do at home? I can't, well, the flour, the taste of the flour is different. Yeah. Well, the, the, the sourness, we, we keep the sourness as well like this. Mm -hmm. we, this taste is a little closer to our uh, taste, a little yeah. sour. Yeah. Um, but when it comes to the wheat, we have this problem in Turkey now. Sustainable, good quality wheat. Um, it's, well, the farming is a little dead can say that. Uh, we talked about it with David mm -hmm. about, about the floor, how they sustain it. Yeah. And you know, the, maybe the only way is to produce the farm yourself. Otherwise, you are dependent on on the farmers and if things go bad, the farmers can produce more and or sustain the quality yeah. so that your business is on their hand actually. Yeah, so I'm not sure how to, you know, fight with this. Yeah. Uh, but we try to uh, we try to work on that as well. There are some, it's a little community of micro bakeries, small bakeries, sourdough break bakeries. We talk about it because we actually use the same wheat, and we have the same troubles. So we have to kind of unite in Turkey so that we can maybe support the farmers so that they can produce better wheat or sustainable wheat. Yeah, it makes so much sense. Yeah, I'm um, well see. Common. Okay, um, I think, well, I'm just thinking of the whole country, white flour. Yeah. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's coming out of regular whole wheat uh, after the milling. We have good quality white flour, we have really shitty quality white flour, and now the big producers, you know, the packed breads, they're using it like, like crazy, and there are chemical companies coming in, they're also helping only the big producers to bake effortlessly. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's, well, this is the fight, I guess. They, they just put some chemicals, really like tiny grams of chemicals to 50 grams of flour and it changes the whole dough. Yeah. But there is, it's just a machinery bread, that's it. So we try to, you know, get that support from the customers. That's why we do this YouTube things. So that people could see it. Yeah. Otherwise, they don't know it actually. How hard is this job? How long we get, we you know bake? It's it takes 30 hours to bake a bread. Why <laughs> one loaf of bread? I mean, in total, at least 30 hours. So I think it's now getting there, but it depends on the maybe the economics of the country as well. Yeah. For example, our our business is now on the top of luxury, in which we didn't want that. No. Top of what? Luxury. It, I mean, I'm not the, even the customer of our shop. Trust me, I mean, I'm not that level, you know? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. we have to put a, a formula that could um, run that business. Yeah. Otherwise, I have to take it out from the our team, yeah. and I don't want that as well. Do you sell also to like 
businesses? N not now. We used to do that for, we had 15 different places, but now we turn it into only the, to our customers because it's a small place and we ran out really quick. Yeah. Uh, so that now it's only for More customers. Manageable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we had B2B um, agreements with 15 different cafes. Ah, okay. yeah. But, but all, all coming from the same location. Yeah, but now we ended it. Okay. Uh, because the customers are a little like higher now. Uh, and we, in order not to run out and say that, sorry, we don't have any bread, we said to businesses, we don't sell it out. Yeah. Yeah. I guess you can, also, you can also have a bigger markup when you sell to our market. Exactly. Exactly, because the cafes, they always ask for discount. Yeah. I understand them as well, but no. They, they expect a discount as they're, I don't know, buying a regular bread. And but they're... Do you think people are looking for more modern style bread or they're looking for The problem in Turkey, they're a little more into the modern ones, but for example, the shape of it, it's really like in, um, important for them. But I think we have to pass that phase as well. We need to talk taste, quality. But in Turkey, now it's everything is like hype. Croissant, bomb, hype, about the shapes and everything. Uh, and people doesn't even able to compare the good croissant and bad croissant. They're, it, well, it's just, you know, the Instagram life, yeah, yeah. I, I, I would say. So we try to stay on the side of, you know, yeah. quality products, <laughs> but sometimes we also put some products on the shelf so that, you know, catch it catches people's That's eyes. It's important. We eat with the eyes and then with the Yeah, mouth. yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So yeah, we'll see. And how is growing with, uh, um, with them? Like, is it, is it easy to growing or is like the land is a bit dry? Uh, in Turkey? Yeah. Well, it's actually, it's a perfect soil. Perfect soil, but the problem is only economics because the gov well the government killed it. No, it's no, okay. no, no, please. It's okay, it's okay, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no worries. We can we can just stop it. All right. Increasing. There's a high inflation in Turkey, and by high, I mean seventy percent, eighty percent. That's high. For example, by the beginning of this year, the minimum wage was increased forty nine percent. Forty nine. Four nine. It was crazy, and it's not the first time. It's been like this for three years, maybe. Yeah, yeah. and uh, it, it's actually helping nothing because when you put, pr increase the price of uh, minimum wage by 49%, everything goes up. And now we literally have no idea what's expensive, what's not, what's cheap. I have no idea. No. Trust me. <laughs> yeah. So uh, when uh, this is this created a nightmare for farmers, they are not, uh, they don't want to produce good quality wheat because out, out of this farming, they get low uh, volume of, you know, outcome, and they they think that they cannot sell it for a good price because there are so few shops like us, and that's why they go to that chemical side and produce more and more and more and sell it to the big companies that's it but most of them they they stop farming yeah. otherwise yeah, the, the soils yeah are you from Italy? yeah yeah yeah oh for real yeah, yeah. Oh, okay yeah yeah yeah i think this would have the government it just put the tax so much higher yeah yeah just yeah just, just to brush it that's better right yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's more profitable. At least he doesn't lose any money. Exactly. exactly. Oh crap. Now that, that's that's the same. I mean, I hope. Well, because I think we're end. We're at the end of the edge. I hope it won't go like this in Italy. I hope yeah. so. I hope so. We need we'll to see. Be back to the roots. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I, well, this uh, city of ours, the municipality, this when they started this project, uh, I I felt the hope because. We need that support from, you know, big authorities. Otherwise, no, it's not going to work. We have to go back to our jobs. Okay, now. yeah, perfect. But, uh, <laughs> no, worries. no, no, no. Sure. Uh, but Please. thank you so much for all of these gifts and for coming. No, thank you for it's your time, guys. It's very inspiring to share and yeah. exchange.
Thank you for your time, for real. It's it's been a pleasure, really. Arkadaşlar, afiyet olsun herkese. Sadece sessizce bak kamera bak yiyelim mi? Arkadaşlar, videonun başında hatırlarsan demiştim ki Türkiye'den farkı yok. Ucuz olduğunu düşündüğüm bir ülke. Lafları laflarını geri alıyor musun? Bu laflar için. Özür diliyorum Türkiye'den. Çok özür dilerim. Videonun sonunda kredi kartı ekstremizi paylaşacağız ve yardım kampanyası başlatacağız. Yani şöyle, arivanında fazla para vermek için şehirde bir fırın bulup malzemeleri öyle aldık. Ve bütün... Aynen. Tüm suçlarımızı açıklamaya başlasak yavaş yavaş. Otobüslere para vermedik, metroya para vermedik. <gülüyor> ya hakkınızı helal edin Kopenhaklılar. Buranın vergi veren insanları. Güzel tatilde ama... Kahveyi yapmıyor mu ya? Biz şimdi uçağa geçiyoruz. Sizi seviyoruz. Güzel bir beş günde. Kopenhag görülmeye, gezmeye değer bir yer. Çok yenebilecek, çok fazla yenebilecek, çok güzel tatlar var. Mutlaka ziyarete gelin. Görüşürüz, bay bay. Görüşürüz. Arkadaşlar görüşmek üzere. Ve Derya ve Orhun, müthiş yolculuk arkadaşlıkları. En güzeli de Influencer Derya. <gülüyor> ve Mühendis Orhun. Takip edin. Bu arada Mühendis Orhun da bir YouTube kanalı açıyor şu anda. Ne yediysek o. <gülüyor> Maksat yemek. Olsun. Olsun. Teşekkürler. Görüşürüz. Bay bay.